Okay, when I look at my weekend ahead, and especially the Monday, I thought it's better if I do my weekend reviews in three parts. First of all, um, I'm Monday I'm staying at home, so I won't be able to get a really nice um, summary video in. Um, and I think by the time that I'm going, going to work, it's already too late. Um, also, there's quite some big games on Monday in the evening, which I'm not sure that I will be able to watch. Uh, I've been watching a few games today that I'll quickly summarize, but I was not really attentive watching. I actually rewatched the highlights right now because I think um, I couldn't get the full grasp. I'm, I was, uh, but the kids were all over me today. And yeah, it was fun, uh, but you know. And then when I could watch the last game, which was um, okay, get to the Atletico Madrid against uh, San Sebastian, um, I distracted myself by writing uh, posts while only having the game on. I watched the first half and yeah, there wasn't much happening in the first half. Uh, in the end, Atletico Madrid uh, tried to get, get it going. There was a great chance by Griezmann who um, mishandled the ball and then made something really great out of it, kind of this um, flick back. Um, fortunately, it didn't go in. Godin scored the goal that, you know, San Sebastian was always happy with a uh, draw. Had a little bit of mess in the defense and Godin uh, could just push it in. He <laughs> was moving forward from defense, so he's in, in the box, no one knows how to mark him. Puts it in, halftime whistle, 1-0 up. Um, and yeah, Atletico Madrid kept going at it, uh, soon made it 2-0, could have made more, but didn't get more, so uh, they got it going. As for the jersey, I really like the San Sebastian shirt, it is sponsorless, which I always like. Uh, the Atletico Madrid shirt, of course, it doesn't look that bad from a distance, I gotta give it to them, but if you look at just a little bit closer, it's just horrible with the uh, change of the striping. I, Hate it, absolutely hate it. Uh, which gets me to probably the biggest game this on Saturday. And it's weird, uh, today there were not many great matches. Um, but I think the biggest game was Dortmund against Hertha in Germany. And Hertha is the other one that has absolutely horrible jerseys where also there's a fade going on. And instead of the stripes, you have one a little bit diagonally going. Didn't like it. Well, Dortmund is seemingly the team of the moment. And they had chance after chance. Uh, Sancho, a wonderful backheel goal was disallowed because it was by that much offside. Um, he made then his uh, goal, was a nice play, got and he just had to put it in. And Dortmund seemed fully in cruise control. But then it uh, was a weird counter attack that they got caught in, and Hertha suddenly makes it 1 1. Second half, same thing. Dortmund rolls and rolls and rolls. And again, a beautiful goal, got. Uh, uh, passes in, um, Roy steps over and there's the empty net for Sancho to just put, put, put it in. There was a penalty given that by VAR, which uh, is handled in Cologne, interestingly, in, Germ in Germany, was taken away again, uh, so it was only a free kick. And then, yeah, there were numerous occasions that uh, Dortmund um, could have scored a third one and put the uh, game to rest. Um, in the end, Hertha had one chance uh, in the 87th and then they got a penalty late in the game that they converted. Um, at a draw that must feel like a loss for Dortmund, especially since Bayern won, uh, I think it was 2-1 in Mainz, um, where Mainz equalized but Bayern had twice the lead. Yeah. It's one of those wins that Bayern just gets because you know you uh, you are the best side. You don't have to always exert themselves, and therefore, yeah, Bayern wins that game two one. Uh, Germany looks at the, I guess at a two horse race. I'm curious to see how Dortmund will go on. Uh, other games, I saw I saw the highlights of Liverpool against Cardiff, which was actually a game I want I want to watch. I was just uh, too tired. Um, at least I wanted to watch the first half because I thought it might be fun to see. Yeah, Mo Salah made the 1-0, Sané uh, 2-0, then the lead was cut in half. But in, the, in two, within two, two minutes and then at the end, Shakiri and again Sané made it 4-1. Uh, it was never any doubt, I think, uh, who's going to win the win that game. Uh, Liverpool is just also 
overall in great form, especially against small, small opponents that can be really deadly. And yeah, they scored four against Travenas Vestal, now four against Cardiff. Uh, offensively, there's nothing bad uh, going on for Liverpool, and I'm really looking forward to see how far they will go. I still think Manchester City will win the title, but I, despite still being bitter about 2005, I would love to see Liverpool win the Premier League this year around. Um, I watched, um, again, not very attentively, um, Bilbao against Valencia, which seemed like a big name matchup, but then I realized it's 17th against 15th and teams that uh, go for a draw. And there was really not much going. There was a goal disallowed for Valencia because uh, the, on the rebound, the header to the player who scores the goal was offside. It was in the second half. Uh, also a counter by Bacuay, he completely, he's, he seemed clear and suddenly he drifts left and gets off a lame shot. I think there should uh, more urge towards the goal would definitely helped. Um, yeah, Bilbao came back in the second half, having a little bit more of the game, but Valencia was a more dangerous team and in the end it ended a nil-nil. Two teams that always play a draw again made a draw. Um, if I would have seen a little bit more, I think I probably would have really uh, watched the second half of Cardiff again, Liverpool Cardiff. I uh, was a little bit mad at myself, and of course I needed to go to uh, Empoli Juventus, where I saw actually quite some of the first half, where Empoli really took it to Juventus a little bit. Um, and the funny thing is, they almost would have scored an own goal, and then the, just on the opposite, suddenly there's a counter attack. And uh, Caputo makes the 1-0 um, for uh, Empoli. Huge celebrations. Uh, and yeah, they even had a chance for a second one. And But I also could have scored another uh, own goal. So it was a very weird for a first half. But uh, Empoli had actually, was on level terms and had deserved the lead. Of course... Juve gets a penalty, Ronaldo scores, and then Ronaldo scores a winner with a wonder, wonderful shot. I gotta give it to him. Um, that one was going for the corner and uh, swerving a little bit to the left. There you go, Ronaldo makes it to nil. Um, as for a slapstick goal, I saw the highlights of Atalanta against um, Parma. The first goal for Atalanta. Uh, goalkeeper saves it, but pushes his right on to the defend on the shin of the defender who, who puts in his own net and they had two more for a 3 0 victory. So, yeah, um, I probably I have to say Juventus is one of the best, if not the best team at the moment in Europe. So, I think there was a highlight that was Liverpool, but it was not a big game matchup tomorrow, of course. Big game matchups, but I'm not sure how much I will see of them. And you know, when you see this, I will I will post this tomorrow morning. So <laughs> I should say today, but I make no bones about it. This is uh, shot now in the evening. Um, I will be out for most of the day, so I'm probably gonna watch. Uh, this is gonna be a tough one for me. Uh, El Clasico. I'm not sure if I will be able to see um, live. So I might watch it in the evening. I want to see Milan against Sampdoria at six. I also not sure how much I'm gonna see because you know my girls need to be put to, to bed and my uh, wife is also out. So yeah, uh, and then there's Roma Napoli. What to do? And of course NFL. That's a tough one. That's a tough one for me. Maybe I have to see how I'll do. Maybe I can watch it somehow. Where I am. Um, I gotta say I'm not as excited about this Classico than I, and then I was about other Classicos. Just the fact that it's not Messi against Ronaldo, but also that Real Madrid is not in, um, that great. So, yeah, remains to be seen. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I have to see. Because Roma Napoli is also a pretty nice matchup. And then, of course, you have uh, two big games on Monday. Uh, Tottenham and Manchester City, and I think uh, Inter is playing Lazio, which is also not a bad game. Well, I let it know tomorrow in the evening what I've been doing and how what games I could see and how I see things going. Let me know what you thought about today's games, if there are any games that you watched, and yeah, how you see things. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.